friends, listen, Dorinda here. You don't want to miss the next Dorinda show because my special guest all the way from Baton Rouge, my girl, Erica Jones. Listen, this girl can see. She got a big head out, too. I'll see y'all. Don't you miss it. My girl, Erica Jones with Big Victory. mighty, powerful voice that God has given us in this 
earth right now. I don't know about y'all, but I needed that song right in through here. That's right. God is big. God is strong. He's powerful. He's mighty. There is nothing that God can do right now that I'm telling you, there's nothing he can't do. He can do it. Everything he can do, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Us, whatever we speak out of our mouth, I believe that God will make it happen. So continue to be authoritative at what you want. Make sure you let the devil know, uh-uh, you ain't coming this way, bringing no kind of negativity. I'm believing God for miracles, and I know that it's going to happen for you. Well, my guest is here, and I'm so, so happy she's here, and I want you all to help me welcome the one and only Erica Jones. Hey, honey. Hey. How are you? with your bad self. Girl, oh, you are so like anointed. You. Oh, Thank you. you. <laughs> look at all. Look at this. See the hair, y'all? They don't see the hair. This is, I mean, absolutely stunning. Thank you. You look good, girl. Thank you, Dr. Cole. Let me tell you how, let me ask you this, ask, ask you this question. How did it all start with you? Because I know we were talking, uh, well, I heard you talking uh, uh, to Kelly over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Telling her how some of the stuff had started, of course. Yeah. How did it start with uh, Erica? Well, uh, Erica was born and raised in the church, uh -huh. the church of God oh, in Christ. The church of God in Christ, Kojic. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you know, when you're born in Kojic, yeah. you, you have to find something to do. Yes. It seems like everybody that's Kojic has a talent or a gift of, mm -hmm. of some kind. Mm -hmm. So singing was mine. So was. I started singing at like four. Really? And singing in the Sunshine Band, then on to the adult choir, yes. and then, you know, the rest is history. Right. Now, they tell me that you're a um, um, minister of music. I am. Yeah, tell us where the church is. Um, Harvest Time Fellowship, Church of God in Christ, okay. under, under the bishop, uh, James Jerome Quillen. Yes. We got to give a shout out to yeah. Bishop Quillen. Yeah. God bless you. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, ma'am. And, ma and um, so you're over the praise and worship yes, and all of the ministries that go there. Yeah. Um, now, tell us... Uh, who are some of your musical influences? Well, of, of course, the Clark sisters. Oh. <laughs> of course. I thought it was you. you at one point. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> but that's when I really didn't know my voice. You know how you try to mimic people and try to, you know, sound like people. Yeah. And, and you were one of my favorites. Wow. Um, of course, uh, Dr. McAllister, mm -hmm. um, as far as praise and worship, that yes. was like one of my uh, per people that I looked up to. Yes, um, absolutely. Let's see who else. I'm um, pretty sure you can, you can really just, because I hear so much in your voice. Oh. And that's how we discover, those of you all that are uh, going into that praise and worship field, you have to listen to other artists yes, to develop your talent. Absolutely. And, um, of course, you have something your own, own unique talent. Oh, thank you. Original. Thank you. I mean, and it's, it's just so much that I can see in your voice, and then I can tell that you are uh, a person that knows how to just any given time, at any setting, you, you just know what to do. Thank you. Yes, you just got all of that. God help. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Let's talk about this project, um, Erica. Yes, mm -hmm. um, the now, is it the um, music? Psychology, right? No, 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 no. What does that mean? Um, I, I did write a song called Great God on that project. Okay. Um, that was, I think, in, ooh, that was a long time ago, probably three okay. or four years ago. Is it been? Yeah. Really? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But um, since then, I did a remake, Big Victory. Yes. Um, the Michael Burrell, the great Michael Burrell. Woo! Michael! Yeah. Hey, Shout man. out. Shout yes, out to Michael. Absolutely. He produced it. He did. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. Right, I wanted to work with him. I just, I hit him up on, on Instagram. I just reached out to him. Really? Mm -hmm. And it's so funny because he's going to be on my next album. <laughs> Girl, right. you got some good. When I tell you, Mike <laughs> is like yes. one of the greatest he producers. One of the he best. will pull everything out of yes, you in the studio. Will. Yes, he mm -hmm. will. And I, because um, I noticed that, um, of course, among all of the great um, wonderful producers that we have in the church, of course. You think of um, Donald Lawrence, mm -hmm. um, yes, Ace Award, mm -hmm. um, I mean, uh, Aaron Lindsay. I mean, mm -hmm. it just goes on. I mean, but, but just to hear um, Mike, it's just something about what he does. Like you said, to pull something out of you. Now, you know, he wrote, he actually, um, He's, uh, his wife wrote, bless this house. He told me that. Yes, And I yes. didn't know that. Mm. I was like, whoa. Oh, yeah, she's a, she's a powerful writer. 
as well. Yeah. And Mike can sing too. Yep. So oh, that, yeah. That that like when you hear the background, mm -hmm. that's all Mike. Yeah. Mike arranged all that. Yeah, he he's phenomenal. So, yeah. he's, and he also um played on I'm Still Here. The boys band. That's yeah, that's that's all Mike Mike. He's for me. I uh, wanted to work with other yeah. uh producers, you know. In the future, but yeah. I think I'm, I'm you sold stuck, on huh? him. Right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. I know when you get somebody and you know they know you. Yeah. You want to stick with them. Yes, ma'am. So tell us about um, um, something, some some other stuff that you're getting ready to do because I see your future is really bright. Yes, ma'am. I, I I pray that it is. Yes, I, it I'm, is. I'm happy you speak that into yes, my life. Lord, Thank you. Absolutely. Um, I want to shoot a video for Big Victory. Okay. I do. I want to do a visual for it, mm -hmm. and then I want to start working on some. More, some more music. Okay. Um, you know, doing music independently is 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 not cheap. No, it's not. So you gotta kind of pace yourself a right. little bit. I'm so. glad you're saying that mm -hmm. because they need to know uh, those of them that aspire in music ministry. You do have to pace yourself, and you gotta put your money out. Yeah. You gotta. If put you your want money something quality, that's why I went to Mike because I didn't want to do something that everybody else was doing. Yeah. I wanted to work with somebody that has made hits for a lot of people. Yeah. I'm not saying that's everything, because there's a message in it, you know. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Jesus Christ, but I, I wanted it to sound good. Yeah. So I knew Mike was going to get it done. Oh, he was going to do it. Now, he did the one you just did. Yes, and He did the whole production He did the whole thing. Phenomenal. He arranged. Every, I mean, he did so much. I was like, Mike, I think you're doing too much. Uh, and he was like, say, let me produce. <laughs> This this I'm producer, you're the singer. Right. But he's amazing. So he I know he and you're a beast of a singer, so oh, I know he's gonna God. bring out so I'm, much in you. I'm really excited about that. I I'm can't really, wait to hear. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. But um so now tell us uh, Eric about um some of the things that you can really see uh in the music industry that you would like to change. Ooh. I know, I know it's, I know, I know, <laughs> look, um, I know, I know, but just some of the things that you, you feel that we should go back to, um, um, and I'm asking you because you, you are a singer, yes, you are part of ministry, yes, you know our church, yes, what are some of the things that we need to go back to just to kind of get um, the millennials? Um. Is it choir music or is it? Um, I like choir music. Acapella music. Or? I love choir music. Um, I, I'm a Ricky Dillard fan. Yes, you know, Lord. I love the. I love every aspect of gospel music. Mm -hmm. I love quartet. I'm, I mean, I'm not one of those kids that. Well, I'm an adult now, but yeah. I'm not one of those people that you know. I have to hear like all the you know the newer stuff like Kirk yeah. Franklin and all. I like it all. Yeah. But I good. feel like in the industry. Um, there needs to be more of a handout to help yeah. more of the people that are trying to come in as yeah. independent artists. Mm -hmm. Like when we try to reach out to some of the more established artists, yeah. kind of help. Try to help them a little bit. Wow. They need a little guidance. Absolutely. You know? Sometimes That's we good. try to do stuff on our own and it's like, All right. mm -mm. <laughs> and then when you put it out, y'all looking right. like, yeah, what is that? yeah. So you know, if they reach out, some of them aren't reaching out. Yeah. But if they do reach out, mm -hmm. try to respond and give them some little tidbits. It's it's nothing to just give information to people. Right. You Absolutely. Know, ain't nobody telling you to be their best friend. Right. But, you but could at give least them a little give knowledge. them a little advice. A little, then, a little mm -hmm. advice. Yeah. yeah just yes, to help them along the way. Mm -hmm. Tell us what's next for you. Like I said, more music. Oh, is it? visual okay and um that's just it. trying to keep going higher in god that's good so how can people get in touch with you they want you to come and sing great what is it uh victory big big victory big big victory big victory, big victory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we make a big just mm -hmm. victory on the okay end. so how can they get in touch with you um instagram the t-h-e dot erica jones okay um on facebook erica jones mm -hmm. um that's pretty much it. Okay, y'all heard it right here. So you got to get ready to do this next song that I'm waiting to hear. Yeah. Um, and then you give us a little bit of, of uh, some traditional, and that's what I love about you. Yes, ma'am. You know, and we have to be well-rounded. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. So I, I want you to do this next song, and I'm just waiting to hear, <laughs> hear from you. That but you like got to a... come back, though, okay? Oh, of course. Like, I want to thank you so much for being Thanks for having me, Dr. I love Cole. You. I love you more. All right, I look for more from you Thank real you. soon. Y'all, listen, this is what happens on the Dorinda Show. While Erica gets prepared for this next song, um, I wanted you to know the importance of making sure that you stay 
in tune to your ministry, stay in tune to church, those of you that are aspiring music ministry, so that you'll understand um, how it is to do certain types of music and, and at the right time. And that's why I asked uh, Sister Erica that question because we need to know how to get into the industry and how to maintain, all right? Listen, my special guest is here, Erica Jones, all the way from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. She's coming with us with a favorite entitled Stan. Tell me what do you do when you've done no Watching Dorinda right here on TCT. 